to just steal here. A good portion of this can be used for the next project, which is going to be a rocket cart. It's basically a go-kart with some rocket engines on it. I got this seat that I've had for a couple years now. I'm going to design it around this guy. A lot of people are like, why are you going with square tubing? Well, it's kind of easy to use. I don't have a tubing bender or not sure. Maybe Mark II will be proper tubing, circular tubing, DOM, trying to learn on shape. So it'll probably be heavier than I anticipate, but add more motors if that's the case. Let's get started. If required. We got a couple options. We could hit a lean back on this guy, but I might just keep it up kind of where I think the angle that the manufacturer wanted it at, which I believe is right there. And we got to figure out how much leg room we need. I mean, no Cadillac, but we should have a little bit of room. Where's my head here? Is that straight? With the helmet on, drop down. Oh no, I'm out of foot. So at least you're connected. We got our pieces cut. Hopefully everything is the right angle and length. So we're gonna lay it out, see what it looks like, and tack her up. Probably do one at a time, just in case one's totally off. Something's off. Shit. Bend it in. See, what I'm wondering is, do you match the top of this with the angle here, or do you square with all this stuff? With the Crocs on, we're at 157, and then 222. So we got some heft, 65. The plan, change the design a little bit. The bottom rails, I'm gonna extend all the way out to the front as well as the back. Get moving on. A few tack welds to take off. I'm not really sure what the best way to do that is. God, this thing's heavier than I want it to be. We decided to go with the full 10 feet here. Might as well have a little longer wheelbase. It's easier to shorten it if we need to in the future than lengthen it, I feel like. Now we're gonna add some triangulation to the back here. Nothing crazy, just enough to support the weight of the car. Don't know how, but we've lost the other brace. It's not a small piece. We're moving on to the cross bracing. Ideally, you'd have it go to the center of the node in here, but it makes it kind of hard because you gotta get like two angles to it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna do this part here. We're gonna zoom in there. See this? See this little beam area where the motors, the rocket motors are pushed against? When you see the cart next, it'll be one step closer to a test drive. I said, baby. The truss back here is down that the motors will push against. Next step is the cross bracing. So we're gonna be adding it here, here, and then up here. Basically the whole driver compartment. It's hard as fit me. I still need to add the place that will hold the rockets and a couple other bracing components, but let's see what it weighs for now. I'm kind of curious. This guy down and then rock it up. 135.6. That's pretty heavy. Originally, I estimated all the metal on here to be uh, 160 pounds, so that's about right. It'll be interesting to see what this thing weighs said and done. It's always heavier than you think. So we're waiting on some hardware, you know, the wheels, tires, all that. In the meantime, I'm gonna make the structure for holding the motors. Still deciding on where the motors are gonna go, depending on the center mass of this whole thing, as well as how many we're gonna use, and the length and all that, but we can make the, the skeleton. Important to get everything square on this one. Also deciding on how I wanna clamp the motors down. I don't know how accurate this one is, but I really like it. It's a digital angle finder, so I can do something like, get the reference from the table, and then we can go put it over here and say, oh, what are we at? 0.1 degrees. I forgot to mention this, but the table I'm using as a reference is flat, but it's not level. See what's perpendicular this way, and then we'll re-zero it and we'll move it, you know, nine degrees, re-zero, let's see. Also make sure there's no grit on the bottom. There we go. 9.2, I would say that's acceptable, acceptable. We're gonna place it back on the table, zero it this direction. Come on, there we go. And we wanna check this. There's a bird in here, dude. Where? I don't know, I was about to take a video of him trying to find the bird, but maybe it flew out all of a second. It's a smarter bird than usual. 